Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to be setting up a bioactive enclosure for my red tail boa Viv. Let's check it out. So I actually had Viv on Bioactive for a few years, but unfortunately in the past six months she had contacted snake mites, which this was actually the first time I had to deal with snake mites. Um, long story short, it was a huge pain for me and you know, but through these six months of me treating her and going through the quarantine, she was completely treated and we've quarantined her through the life cycle of the snake mites, seeing no more have showed up, she is finally ready for another Bioactive enclosure. So today I'm just going to be showing a little, you know, step by step on how I set up bioactive enclosures. Uh, for Viv, we're going to be using her six foot by two and a half feet by 18 inch uh, animal plastics cage. You know, I'll start with using the substrate and then adding plants and then finally finishing it off with, you know, the decorations and then some extra lighting for this side. It's a little dark. Um, so, you know, without further ado, let's start with the substrate. So for the substrate today, we are going to be using a topsoil play sand mix. Um, the soil is just going to be Scott's topsoil and then of course for the play sand is just regular children's play sand. Um, I really enjoy this mix. You know, it's a great basic substrate for bioactive enclosures for anyone starting out. However, before we do put the substrate in, of course, we got to get Viv out. So let's do that now. So here we have Viv, of course she is my red tail boa for anyone who watched my reptile room tour. Um, I've had her for about three years now, going on, yeah, going on about three years. Uh, she is just under six foot or maybe around the six foot range. Once they get this big, it's a little more difficult to, you know, measure them as their size gets a little bit of the way with them wiggling, especially with the boa constrictors. So we're just going to be putting her in a temporary holding bin while we finish this enclosure and then she'll be going right back in. So we got the substrate down and we put our plants in and added some more lighting. Now all we have to do is add some more decorations like the branches and tunnels I'm going about to put in and then she's ready to go back in. All right, so we got the enclosure all set up. Now all we have to do is put Viv in so she can explore her new enclosure.
that's about going to wrap up this video guys. Now Viv seems to really enjoy the new enclosure but I want to know what you guys think. If you want to leave a comment in the comment section I'd really appreciate it you know. If you like this video please feel free to give it a thumbs up and if you want to see some more of my animals or breeding products you can always follow me at DBCB Exotics on Instagram and other than that guys thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.